Yes. Yes. Oh, here we go, boys. The brand new Godzilla bundle is here for Vanguard and Warzone. The Tracer Pack Reactive Mastercraft Limited Time Bundle. And look at this. This is a wall of text. Specific Blue Tracers, Heat Ray Dismemberment Effect. And then it's telling you that if you buy all three bundles, you get that super special blueprint. If you buy all three of them, we'll be reviewing that. But the only one in the game right now is the Godzilla bundle. Let's go over everything in this week. Oh, bro. That thing lights up like crazy. I cannot wait to test that in zombies, bro. Hopefully this looks great in Warzone when you jump out of the plane and everything. That is pretty sick. We got the Breath of Godzilla Mastercraft. Unfortunately, this is a heroic variant, so you're probably not going to be able to put atomic camo on it, but the zombies camos will work. As always, we're going to be testing these out in zombies. We're going to be testing them out in MP and Vanguard, and we're also going to be testing them out in Warzone. And the camos for this might work in Warzone, bro. This with atomic might look pretty sick. Then we've got this LMG, which honestly, for the side variant with the blue scratches on it looks pretty sick as well we got the big mistake highlight here um yeah imagine if that was the finisher move unfortunately that's an mvp highlight but bro that would be a sick finisher move then we've got this as well for the finishing move uh yeah finishing move pretty freaking insane we've got this emblem here we've got another oh we got a spray well i guess we'll check out that spray as well we got another spray so we got two sprays and then we got a calling card and not gonna lie the calling card itself is pretty sick but before we buy let's make sure we go ahead enter a creator code there's gonna be a bunch on screen we're gonna be using code pizza and with that let's go ahead buy this bundle so we can begin our test look at that and here's what it looks like in the vanguard menu pretty awesome if you're wondering what operator this is for it took me a second to find it right here for this operator i'm not gonna say the name and butcher it but if you go to customize you'll see it right here the godzilla gilly oh uh, yeah safe to say this is about to be an insane review look at this like look at this glow here in zombies dude look at the tracer effect look at oh my god the rings around the bear all right let's see the death effect when you take down a zombie with it um you know pretty ridiculous i don't think it's the best we've ever seen but uh i am super excited to see the inspect for this bro this is this is pretty it pretty good. All right. All right. Let's go ahead. Check out the inspect for this for the first time. Um, yeah, that's a pretty freaking insane inspect, bro. So he holds the gun. It starts making like Godzilla noises. Flames come out of the top of it. And then, you know, a giant neon flame. Yeah, this is probably the best inspection in the entirety of Vanguard. I'm, I'm going to say it right now. The entirety of Vanguard, the best inspection, bro. And the best... Look, look, look at that shooting effect of the barrel on the front. And the tracers that it leaves behind. Let me back out of game. I want to see what this looks like without a sight. I think this thing's going to look a lot better with iron sights. And okay, here we go with the iron sights. And I mean, they're not the worst thing ever. I kind of like this more with the iron sights just because it's a little bit more unique. Let's go ahead and inspect it with the iron sights. Still the same in... Dude... Oh my god. Whoa, oh, wait, you can start. Wait, 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 wait. You can start the inspection and then ADS while it's. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god, bro. That is so freaking cool. Hopefully, the pack a bunch camos work on this. I like this better with the iron sights. Sue me, but I like seeing, like, I like it better with the iron sights. All right, let me do a little bit of grinding and get the 7,500 points needed to pack a punch. While I'm doing that, if you're new here and want to sub, I would greatly appreciate it. We go through every single bundle in great detail here on this channel and review it. And if you leave a like and or a comment, thank you so much for that because it does greatly help out the channel. All right, now for the time we've all been waiting for, let's go ahead, check out the sprays. We've got the feared beast and then we've got the titan destruction. Yay. Actually, that one's kind of sick. I don't ever use sprays but i mean they look kind of cool so there's that if you're interested in what the sprays look like uh so yeah it has gotten a lot brighter i forgot this was reactive so as we've been getting kills with it it has now got to the next tier of reactive and you can see this is a lot brighter than it was a second ago bro look at that um yeah i'm sick that the reactive part of it actually works in zombies this time dude that is pretty freaking fantastic is it gonna get brighter than this all right here we go please please let pack-a-punch camos work on this oh wait does oh no okay so this is the first heroic variant that not even pack-a-punch camos work on normally with the heroic variant mastery camos don't work but pack-a-punch camos do but um nope uh maybe oh at the little bottom okay you can see at the very bottom it looks like the pack a bunch covering that little area but no pack a bunch camos do not work on this blueprint and i think we've hit the final reactive tier because as you can see we have 150 eliminations we'll test it in mp as well but dude look at that 
Look at that. If you start the inspection, that's what we do. If you start the inspection, then run, it will still do the flamethrower. We're going to test out if other people can see this. But you run around with just a straight flamethrower. But that that that's enough zombies testing. I think we found out everything we need to know zombie-wise. And okay, here we go. Just confirming you can't put any camos at all on this in Vanguard. We'll double check in Warzone. Maybe you can put Atomic in Warzone. Sometimes that's how the heroics work. But you can see it is completely locked off. Now let's see what it looks like with no attachments. You guys always ask, what does it look like when you start taking attachments off? So you take off the suppressor it just it makes godzilla have a smaller yeah nose you take off the barrel okay yeah yeah you know take off the hand stop take off the magazine yeah so very quickly um this becomes a way different blueprint when you start taking the attachments off so this is what you end up getting if you want to put let's say you know a different barrel on that it doesn't come with it comes with this one but if you want to run that one this is what you're going to end up with. So make sure you like the attachments the bundle comes with before you buy it. Because if you replace them, it dramatically changes it. Okay, now let's get a quick look at the skin from third person. This is what other people are going to see when they see your skin. He is inspecting the weapon right now. So no, no one else sees that giant like laser flamethrower besides you. So don't worry, you're not going to get any <laughs> that. Yeah, I can see how that would be an issue. So I'm glad they prevented that. But dude, the skin looks insane. The tracer fire, even in a brighter environment, still looks insane here. Let's go ahead and get it to the max reactive form. So I think I'm going to need a total of nine kills. As it gets more reactive, all it does is get more brighter and get more fire on top. And there we go. Now we are on the 10th kill. So this is the max reactive form. The reactive is pretty noticeable in a dark environment. As you can see, it has kind of the effect going through it. And it does definitely okay now we got the you know we got the laser fire beam going it definitely gets a lot brighter and it has that animated effect over it so making it the reactive tiers noticeable it's a lot less noticeable when you're in the light so in zombies you're going to see it on bright environments you're not going to see it as much and then here is the brin that also comes with it unfortunately we can't inspect it but oh it's oh it's got the barrel tracers as well oh, you know you know, shooting accurately might be a little bit hard with that barrel effect. It does look sick, though. We're going to see what this looks like with camos, but, you know, it might be kind of hard to hit shots on target. I love this, though. I love when the blueprints are... I love when bundles come with additional blueprints that look sick as well. Let's go ahead and see what the Godzilla bundle looks like when we start taking off some attachments, though. I want to see what it looks like without the attachment form, even when you take... Oh, so this is what it looks like without the barrel. Let's see what the ins does the inspect still work when it's yeah so the inspect still works when you chop off the barrel and here's what the gold camo oh now we now, oh now we got the flame coming out of this one this is what the gold camo looks like on the brin now let's see what it looks like with no attachments on it so here we are with yeah this is what happens if you take all the attachments off does it still breathe fire yo this is one mean s <laughs> <laughs> one mean stg uh here it is with atomic on the brin i mean yeah once you start putting a camos on the brin it really doesn't change it too much here's the golden viper which does look pretty sick i love the tracers alone the brin in and of itself with the tracers definitely makes it worth it because this is some of the best tracers we've had honestly in any game that barrel effect is freaking insane here it is with the plague diamond we're not going to show both diamond camos because honestly one diamond kind of sums up both of them and last but maybe honestly least the dark ether camo for zombies on the brin looks pretty cool but once again uh, the main showcase is this STG blueprint right here. Okay, now let's look at the finishing move here. Let's see what it looks like from a third person view. So uh, yeah, pretty insane. And then, um, okay, pretty freaking graphic. Now, if you're doing the executing move, this is what it... Yeah. Oh my. Oh, you don't even get to see when you smash their face. This is way more brutal if you view it in third person. Overall, I really do like this bundle here in Vanguard. Not being able to put camos on it really kind of mix mixes my opinions. I love how mastery camos look on these, but uh, now let's move into Warzone and just maybe the camos will work over in Warzone. Warzone time, baby. Here's what the operator looks like in the menu. It doesn't seem to glow as much, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens when we get in game. And yes, you are actually able to put camos on it here in Warzone, but it only covers this little handle part right here. But I like this. I like having the option to still put these camos on. The reason being is if you still start messing with attachments and you take off the barrel now you get to see the diamond underneath if you start taking attachments off in vanguard you don't get this benefit of being able to see the camos underneath 
and they just kind of locked off the camos. In Zombies, it still showed the bottom part, so I'm glad that it does that in here in Warzone. It's not the most revolutionary thing, but I really wish Vanguard allowed it. And the camos do completely work for the Bryn. Unfortunately, the camo bug is affected here on the Bryn in Warzone. So I do have Atomic unlocked, as you just saw in the STG, but for some reason here in Warzone, I am not allowed to put any camos on. I guess we can see what it looks like with the snake bite camo, but that is the only one it's gonna allow me to use. Oh, wow. This blueprint looks a lot more realistic in Warzone, bro. Look at the texture on that. That is sick. Okay, the flame still works. That is, all right, now does the tracer still work? That's the most important thing is sometimes the tracers don't work in Warzone. And no, actually the barrel effect still works perfectly fine here. Okay, now here is the Bryn and what the Bryn looks like. And oh, oh, oh okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, well, chill. Okay, here we go. We can now inspect the Bryn because you can actually inspect these weapons in Warzone, bro. The Bryn looks great. I wish I could try this out with camos and it does have the same exact barrel and tracer effect. Oh, there we go. Look at the operator skin about to jump out of the plane, bro. That is sick. Okay. The skin's a little bit le less noticeable here in Warzone. That's one thing I'll say. You notice this a lot more in Vanguard by a lot, but it's not the worst thing ever. It's just a little bit less brighter. So if we go ahead, jump out, can we see it as we're going down? Yeah, not really. The hands don't change at all. As you can see, it's the normal operator hand, so you don't get any cool glowing effects whatsoever. But with that, guys, that's going to wrap up our bundle review with this. Honestly, I... I I don't know where to rate this. I really like this blueprint. I just wish the camos worked on it. That's my favorite thing about a Mastercraft. By itself, without camos though, this is one of the best Mastercrafts we've seen, bro. The inspect is straight fire. Like, I mean, legitimately, it's the dragon breath out of its, yeah. Look at that, insane. It reacts, it's pretty sick the way it reacts. The way it looks in zombies and dark maps, it looks good in both games. It's just weird because, I don't know, usually I rate these pretty low when you can't put camos on it, but even not being able to put camos on this one, it's pretty insane. Like, it really is. And I might use this over the other Mastercraft SMG, even though you can put camos on that. So I am going to give this one a 5 out of 10 instead of a 0. Usually we give them a 0 if you can't put camos, but I still think there's value in this one, even with the no camo proposition. But could you imagine if you could put camos on this like the Krig Dragon from Cold War? This would probably be the best Mastercraft of all time if Dark Aether and Atomic and Gold and Golden Viper all worked on this. With that, let me guys know your ranking. That's just my opinions. Keep in mind, opinions like that are completely objective where would you rank this mastercraft and this bundle but this right here is one of the best bundles we have in vanguard this i'd put up with snoop dogg as one of the better bundles because uh yeah these weapons are freaking insane if you guys want to see more bundle reviews like this make sure to check out the channel we deeply review every bundle that comes out everything you want to know and it's all time stamped that way you can quickly check what you're looking for get back into game and if you love to like or comment i greatly appreciate it, it does help with the channel with that i'll see you guys in the next one Peace. I want to give a massive thanks to everyone who became a Twitch sub, or a YouTube member, and an extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member here on YouTube. We got the GOAT Positive Expert, the most OP gobblegum ever, Round Robin, the 2X Trader Purple, the absolute legend, Nick G, the massive Chad Noah, and the craziest story arc ever, Scar.